Hi everyone, this is your Champlain College ambassadors, Mimi, Chloe, and Shishi, and you're listening to Shamley Drama, broadcasting through the facilities of CFFF, Trent Radio at 92.7 FM in Peterborough, Nagoji, Vanong, Canada. Shamley Drama, it's Shamley. Before we start, we would like to respectfully acknowledge that we are occupying land in Peterborough, Nogojinawang on the Treaty 20 territory and traditional territory of the Michisagi and Anishinaabeg. This land is associated with the Williams Treaty. We offer our gratitude to the First Nations for their care for and teachings about our earth and our relations. May we honor those teachings. Hello and welcome to our first episode from Shamley Drama Season 2. This is Shishi. This is Mimi. We don't have Chloe with us today. Uh, let's continue with our episode. So today we're going to talk about one of the core values of um, Champlain College, that is active engagement. Cool. So what exactly is active engagement? Active engagement. So we have already learned a bit about uh, Champlain's passion for tradition in the past few weeks. And you might have noticed that in most of our traditions, and values, we kind of uh, emphasize on a few things. One of those two things are actually active living and global perspectives. Uh, For example, a lot of our traditions, uh, such as axe throwing, pig ball, canoeing, the steps competition that we had last year, um, they're all about getting outdoors, um, kind of moving your body, getting into some sort of physical activity, and this is kind of important to embody the ideas of discovery and adventure. Um, However, active engagement does not just mean doing physical activities. There is also another aspect of just, you know, living a life of reflection and political awareness and at the same time engaging in the world in such a way that it will make a global difference. That's where we kind of see our relationships with Trend International the study abroad program and the WASC. Um, They have been in close connection with Champlain for a long time. Uh, Here at Champlain, we also talk about our motto that is DARE. So what does DARE stand for? It is discovery, adventure, um, reflection, and engagement. So there's a lot of uh, different types of what you say, physical activities, political awareness, experiential volunteering, and etc. involved in our values. Cool. So, what type of active engagement will we be talking about today? So today in our episode, we're going to talk about the physical fitness and awareness kind of part of active engagement, uh, which will probably encompass of our. Uh, past traditions such as the milk run, broom ball, um, the steps competition, canoeing, axe throwing and many more. So do you want to start with one of those Mimi right now? Cool, let's get into it. Um, first we can start with pig bowl which is one of Champlain's really popular like sporty events. Um, it is a sports tournament which takes place during Champlain's Fall College Weekend, also known as Harvest Weekend. Yes. Um, it usually takes place at the end of September. Ooh. Big Bowl is basically a Dutch football tournament and is usually organized by Champlain Cabinet. Students can come with their teams or individually and we can assign you to a team. Oh, that's fun. So I can come with my friends and make my own team or I can go join a team. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. Um, let's talk about the next, um, what do you say, tradition that was canoeing. So canoeing has been a part of Canada for a very long time and also a part of Champagne for a really long time as well. Uh, we have been collaborating with other clubs on campus such as Trent Outdoors to go for canoeing. In the past few years, we've also taught how to canoe. So for amateurs like me who don't know much about canoeing, it's a good opportunity to learn um, the skill or just to enjoy the experience of canoeing. For those who actually don't really know what a canoe is or um, I can actually give you a technical definition of what canoeing or canoe is. Um, canoe, 
is basically a lightweight and narrow water vessel, uh, which is typically pointed on both the ends and it's open on the top. That's where uh, people sit and it's kind of, what do you say, propelled by one or more people uh, with the help of these, what do you say, flat bladed paddles and you or kind of paddle it or propel it towards the direction you want to go. So I guess uh, that was the technical definition of what canoeing and canoe was. So if you're interested, you should definitely check this out. So next up we have broom ball. Um, broom ball is our very famous um, tradition, which takes place during Champlain's winter college weekend, also known as bon Bontons. <laughs> It usually takes place um, in the beginning of February when everything is covered in ice and snow. Um, broom ball is a game like hockey where players have a five against five team and you play in an outdoor rink using a stick which basically looks like a hockey stick but at the end it's a broom. It's like a hockey stick but with a triangular head. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, you try to get a small ball into the opposing team's net, much like most other sports. Um, skates and other hockey equipment are not needed. Um, all you need to do is dress for the winter and come enjoy a Canadian invented sport. Uh, we usually have cabinet senior athletic rep uh, explain the rules of the game. And there's always free lunch provided, so you can be energized before and after the game. Um, the top three teams usually receive a prize and the winning team gets their name on a trophy. Wow, oh, isn't that exciting to get your name on the trophy? That's lovely. Yeah. So I've actually, um, I've never really played um, broom ball, but I've always seen it and I've also went through pictures. Mm -hmm. It is amazing energy around the team and just to be around so many amazing people to see um, Champlain and its um, members just play this game and it's so fun. I'm excited to see it this year too. I know it's very chilly, but I'm telling you it's worth it. Hi everyone, in case you are just tuning in, this is your Champlain College Ambassadors, Shishi, Chloe, and Mimi, and you're listening to Shamli Drama broadcasting through the facilities of CFFF Trent Radio at 92.7 FM in Nouadjouanang, Peterborough, Canada. So the next tradition that I'm going to talk about is axe throwing. And again, axe throwing is also a part of our winter college or weekend or bon temps. So it takes place um, with uh, the Peterborough Axe Club. They teach you how to, what do you say, use the axe and how to follow the safety regulations. Um, there Basically, there's a small training session, session before you actually try axe throwing. And I've tried this and I love it. For oh. me, it's like one of... Um, the best way to kind of release your stress but at the same time it's also a fun thing to do because you hold the whole axe with both your hands or like in different ways and kind of aim at things and it's fun it's fun to do with your friends i i'd love to do it again with my friends cool that's fun i've never done axe throwing but i would love to try it um next up we have milk run which Ooh. is so fun um it is one of champlain's favorite traditions um where students have to hold a pitcher of milk and toboggan down the steep hill of the drumlin as fast as you can without spilling any of the milk. And once you reach the bottom, the person with the most milk left in their pitcher wins. Ooh. And then everyone has to chug whatever is remaining, which is great, great fun. Um, this event typically takes place during Frost Week, which is in January after the winter break and it's a way to like welcome back students that's exciting um, even to imagine holding the whole pitcher of milk and then just toboggan down oh my god that is completely the definition of active engagement i would say yeah i think that describes trampoline like it's such a creative fun mm -hmm. sporty event yeah that's great <laughs> So we're going to talk about our next tradition that is floor hockey. It's more or less like ice hockey but without the skates and the ice of course. Uh, this is more like something that we do with our cabinet members. We kind of clear out the great hall and create a hockey rig and then everybody is welcome to come in teams or just join a team and have a fun game of hockey in great hall and just have fun I guess. And what I've seen so far from um, floor hockey, it is amazing. 
I've not played it because I'm not like a huge fan of hockey, but for the people who've played it and every single time I talk to them about it, they always come back every single year until they're part of Champlain. And oh my God, it's just lovely. All right, next up is the CC walking competition, which is held every year in the winter semester and it usually lasts for a month. Um, students who want to participate will download an activity tracking app to their phones and join the Champlain College team. Students can record their walks through the app and that information is collected to see who has walked the farthest. At the end, all participants earn a prize. Special prizes are bestowed upon the top three winners. Ooh, that's exciting. Exciting. So I guess it's time to start counting your steps uh, next year <laughs> and then get into this walking competition. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to our um, next tradition, that is the Versailles Caves hike. This is an opportunity for Champlain students living in the residence to participate and get more involved in one of the core values, that is active engagement. Uh, students living in the CC Towers or the Annex are invited to take part in, to, uh, in this hike, which uh, is basically a hike in the Versailles Caves conservation area. Uh, students are bused just 30 minutes uh, or so out of Peterborough and into the countryside to visit the caves. Um, the caves were formed thousands of years ago at the end of last ice age. Ooh, that's interesting. By the rushing melt of waters of a glacier that covered the Ontario uh, province. That's, that's lovely. That's insane. I know, right? I'm thinking of it like how the cave was made. If, not, if you've not already been to this event, I guess, uh, or the caves, it's something that you should definitely go check out if you are from Ontario or if you are visiting Ontario. And if you are from Champlain and if you're living in the towers and the annexes, don't even worry about it. You already have an event and all you need to do is just join us for the hike and yeah. we'll take you there. Just sign up. <laughs> Yay. Okay, last but not the least, we have snowshoeing, which is also a part of our winter college weekend slash bon Um Students can wear snowshoes, which help you walk on piles of snow and hike across the drumlin even during winter. Champlain College also rents out snowshoes to students all throughout winter. So yeah, just uh, sign up to rent snowshoes and you can Get them for free and share them with your friends and have a good time. So I'm not paying anything for the snowshoes and I'm getting it for free? For all for free. Oh my god, that's exciting. I'm definitely trying it. And snowshoes is something I've actually tried. Um, it was really fun. I tried it for the first time last year. Mm -hmm. And I really didn't think I would be able to like walk on a pile of snow because usually you would go right through, right? Yeah. But I don't know, it was pretty cool. It had like a weird feeling under your feet. Okay. Yeah. It's probably like how it is made and like the structure that it shows through has, right? Yeah. Hmm, that's exciting. That's something you should definitely try is what I believe and I guess I'm gonna try that this year. When For sure. Yay, yeah. that's gonna be exciting. So, all right, folks, this was the NFR episode today. And thank you so much for tuning in and staying um, with us. We really appreciate that. And this was Shishi. This was Mimi. And have a great week. Once again, this is your Champlain College ambassadors, Mimi, Chloe, and Shishi. And you're listening to Shamley Drama, broadcasting through the facilities of CFFF Trent Radio at 92.7 FM in Peterborough, Novojawanong, Canada. And we'll see you next week. Sick of school and you don't know what to do. Put on your pajamas, tune to Shamley Drama. We'll answer all your questions about our cool Champlain traditions. Like Big Bowl and Milk Run and Fall College Weekend Fun. So if you want the latest academic advising and if writing essays gives you chills come to academic skills you can come
them in your pajamas. Just don't forget to tune in to Shamley Drama.